फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विकास मिनी एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस चैनल ओ एन एस स्टडी सर्कल फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज हाउ टू नेगोशिएट सैलरी इन एन इंटरव्यू एंड बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट दैट यू डू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल इफ यू वुड रियली लाइक अवर वीडियो एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन बटन टू गेट द अपडेट्स फॉर वेन एवर वी अपलोड द वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर टूडे टॉपिक how to negotiate salary in an interview there are various points you need to work on in order to ace your negotiation interview round the first point is prepare beforehand that means before even going for an interview you should practice for negotiation as well because negotiation is a part of interview and negotiation comes when you have almost selected and now hr is being negotiated with you in terms of salary in order to finalize the process of your selection so when it comes to the finalization of your selection that means you have proved that you have the required skills you require strength and all the requirements which company is looking for in a candidate so in that case you can negotiate better because you have already cleared all the parameters they have settled for in a candidate to hire the second point is your skill set for example if in a company they require a typing speed approximately 20 to 30 words per minute but your typing test proved that you have a typing test of 70 words per minute so in that case you can negotiate better based on your skill set for example if your typing speed is good then you can tell to your employer that because your typing speed is way above than their normal standard it shows that you can finish their work and speed up the company process work in a very speedy manner which will help the company so that's how you can show up your skills in front of your employer to negotiate in a better terms the third point is your experience experience candidate can negotiate better the reason is you have already has a professional experience and based on professional experience you have already faced some critical situation and you know how to deal in a better possible manner so with experience you can tell for example if your employer requires 2 years of experience and you have 5 years of experience that means you have 5 years of experience a 3 years of experience extra than they require so with extra experience the extra benefit will company receive so proving that you can negotiate better the another point is your last round ctc if you are an experienced candidate then of course you must have your last round ctc so in that case it becomes essential then you ask a reasonable hike based on your last round ctc for example if the market trend is 20 to 30% then you can ask for 40% in that case if employer would try to drag you down up to 30% then you would be happy in that case as well so it is advisable to think about the ctc your last round ctc and get a reasonable hike on that for example if your last round ctc was 5 lakh you can claim up to 8 lakh but it is not advisable to claim for 20 lakhs which is not reasonable so always make sure that you ask a reasonable hike based on your last round ctc if you are an experienced candidate now the another point is if your hr or your employer tells you or want to know whether you are comfortable with negotiation or not then in that case you must not be very rigid instead you would tell them yes you are comfortable with negotiation but you need to make sure that you ask a reasonable hike for example study company profile the job they are offering right now of course there must be a salary range for example they are offering a salary range 3 to 4 lakh so in that case you may ask for 4.5 lakh so in that case if they tell you that uh, they are maximum offering 4 lakh for a candidate then you simply may accept it now the another point is showing up your achievements and your records for example if you are a star player so this is the right time to show and prove let us understand this point with the help of an example for example in your previous employment you received an award based on your performance and that performance was extraordinary so you can simply show that award in front of your employer to prove that you are a kind of person who has a positive mindset and works very extraordinary that's why you were appreciated by your previous employer in terms of an award so with this mindset you will also want to work here so that's how you can prove your uniqueness and why you worth more 
so with this you can negotiate better showing this point as well now the another point is for example if you have done bcom and now you are pursuing mba which is just about to finish after finishing mba you can negotiate better so you can simply tell to your employer that your mba is about to finish and after that you can claim for good package but you want to work here for a long period of time so because of that that you have already doing a particular course which is about to finish and relates to the company profile so with this you can negotiate better if you are doing something which is related to company and your company will get benefit for that now the another point is for example if a company requires a candidate who must have a great knowledge on excel and you have done a specialized course on advanced excel so you must have received some certificate so in that case you can show that certificate to your employer that you have done a specialized course in excel which will prove that you have in depth knowledge of excel which is required by your employer so showing up that you can claim for better negotiation now the another important point is you can show your other skills too for example if you are applying for an accountant job but you can tell them that you are good in communication as well so you, if the company requires then you can do multitasking for a role where in the english or the communication requires so you would not be limited to your profile only but if the company needs you then you can perform the other roles too so that's why you are worth more that's how you can negotiate better by showing up your more value in terms of your employment so with all this i wish you a very good luck for your negotiation round and i believe that considering all these point you can negotiate better and ace your negotiation round so with this i wish you a very good luck thanks for watching